Okay, right. This road used to be a single lane, and now it is dual, and it's beautiful. It's, this is just the road from uh, Kabala, right at the police college roundabout. If you're heading towards Gamji Gate, you know. For those of you who were born in Kaduna those days or who have seen this place before, if you come here, I'm telling you, you'll be shocked. It's way different. And I'm glad it is. it has been done like this, you know. It's making everywhere look beautiful. If they continue to do such things in different states, I mean, the country will get better. Just get better. There's something I want to show us, that is why we're actually here. Let's go so that we can see what it is. Okay, yeah, we just stepped into the Gamji Gate and the whole place looked deserted, dry looking. Let's go, no, no, let's go this way. This is the food uh, court, they call it, or the food park. There is nothing happening here. But actually, the reason why we're here is not because of the food court or the water park. Uh, the reason is to show you guys something that I did a video of like um, three years ago or four years ago. And uh, today I want to revisit the place and see. Because the time I came here, like that three, four years ago, the place was in a mess and uh, I learned they had this flood. There was flooding and because of that they were renovating. Obviously, it looks like this was what they were doing at that time trying to build this place okay but uh, now I just want to go down to where the okay I just want to go down to where the thing I want to show you guys is I have uh, Crocodilos. House her name is Kada. Okay. How many do they have in here? Okay, they have three crocodiles here. Yeah. As you guys can see. Are they what? Why will not why would they not be real? Okay. Right, let's go this way because there is something that is of great interest. Those days, somewhere around there, they used to have a swimming pool for adults, and uh, it used to be run by one guy, like that one white guy. Those days, he was married to an Igbo lady, I think. Yes, those days, they used to have a son. Why they have a son? It took kids, I can't remember how many they had those days. Oh, well, let me show you this place first might be of great interest let me show you guys oh my god this is not too good to lock is whoa it's bad. oh yeah yeah Okay, let me show you this. I, I think what I'll do is that I'll impute a video from the last time I did that. This particular place had uh, some kind of crawling plants all over it. It looks like a tunnel. I'll put a video from the last, put a clip from the last video I did here like four years ago so that you guys can see what the difference is now. This is deserted. Whoa. Okay, no, let me do this. Let me put the clip here right now so that you can see it. 
I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's way, 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 way cozier and nice then than it is now. Way, way, okay? Uh, let me show you something else. Like what I was saying before, I said uh, there used to be pool somewhere there those days. This that there used to be like a pool. It used to be beautiful those days. Maybe they want to build basket. To, you know, I don't know. Let me see. This is Gamji Gate now renamed as uh, uh, Splash World or whatever. I put the name somewhere you guys can see. That was a basketball court near there. Football, five aside. Oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna be doing a football court here, yeah? five aside. That's what they're doing. Let me come to the side so you guys can see it properly. They say it's gonna be a football court. This five aside that they do here. Like I was trying to explain, right? In my last video here, this place was covered with plants, creepy plants all over, completely covered. It looked like a tunnel. And look how it is today, dry, dead. Okay, let me go, let me show you the Loluga Bridge. I can see it from here. Let me show you the reason why we came. Ah, it could be done better. Truly, this place could be a lot better than this. The river itself is there. Those days, they used to be like, here used to be like sit out for people. See all the space we built, like people come and see it. Greenery. I'm telling you, used to have like CD World was a company they were selling CDs those days. People go to even rent CDs for to watch movies. So I think they were popular in the north here. Yeah. I think probably they built this stage then. So name CD World. You can see in front of me, you can see the river there. This place to be a sit out where they sell suya. I said, man, <laughs> oh, things have changed. All right, guys, let's go. Let me show you what is of great interest to me why we're here. In that last video I did, I showed this tree. I showed this tree. It has so much beautiful color. Uh, uh, the tree was, that's how I think I ended that video that time. Let me show you guys. This tree in front of me here has so beautiful color on it. It's just so beautiful. I think I'll put a clip of that video so that you can see this tree there. You've seen it? It's so beautiful. I like the color. So, green, brown, reddish, whatever, ash. It's just nice. The tree looks smooth. <laughs> Let me do this, wait, hold on. Okay, let me go, let's show you guys. <laughs> I'm still like showing you guys, I've not shown you guys the reason why I'm here, but let's go, let me show you. What you guys can see in front of me here is the reason why we are here. This is the Log Lugard Bridge. I've always been fascinated as a kid when I used to come here those days about this bridge and it's still fascinating to me. It's an old bridge, very old bridge. Let me show you guys this. Originally in Loluga Station at Zungeru, which is in Niger State, this bridge was re-erected re here 50 years later in 1954. That means it was actually in 1904. 50 years later, they moved it here. This bridge is old. This is the reason why we're here, the history of Nigeria. Anyway, uh, you guys can read about the Lord of God. 
Even in this city now, they have uh, the House of Assembly where they meet. It's called the, is it the Lugar Hall? That's what they call it. It's in, the, it's in Kaduna North. And um, I think if I can find a clip or I can see visit there, I will do a video so that you guys can see that place. But this is the old bridge. It is still here. In my opinion, this thing needs to be renovated, repainted, and then look good. And then, I, I mean, it's part of our history. It shouldn't be let go like this and let die. You know, really, it shouldn't be. It's one of those things that just interests me and one of those things that every time I think about Kaduna this also comes to my mind and uh, thought about oh yeah I'm in Kaduna now why don't show it again and see if they've done any improvement if they've renovated or revamped this place well from what I can see a lot of the places are still left the way they are though they're trying to clean the place but uh, yeah they have this small supposedly splash park somewhere in front but I was also told that because of the COVID restriction thing, they had to take out all the water and the um, place is not as busy as it used to be. But that it can still be busy over the weekends, like Saturdays and Sundays, people do come around to hang out, but they don't still feel the pool water, it's just still left dry. Okay, let me just show you part of the river, River Kaduna. Uh, this is a good place to come, really. It is a good place to come. Uh, oh, this is nice. You can see how the water is flowing. Uh, let me see if I can zoom into it so that you guys can see the water from that end. Let me show you guys. somewhere around here but I couldn't find any chairs so uh, probably sit on this uh, block walk here probably just sit here for a while okay but before then I want to show you the river here this place is bigger on this side It is a dry season, that's why the water in the rainy season everywhere is filled up with water. Whereas this is a dry season, just come. Oh, wow, this feeling is so cool. look kind of cleaner than every other place tells me that people either take their bath here or something you know so this is me here in uh, the uh, river Kaduna enter through the uh, Gamji Gate, where they have the splash, splash world. So cool. 
there are some feelings you can't buy. Uh, you can't even begin to express. I can't even begin to express how I feel about a place like this that I feel is being neglected. That I should be doing better than what it is. But it's cool though. And being here, it just kind of brings so many good memories, and um, it just makes me want to sit down and just enjoy the breeze. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just telling you guys. What Let's see. Let's go. Let's see. I'm gonna turn around so that you guys can see what's there. Okay. Nothing is actually trapped in this water like any fish that couldn't move with the flow before. This place is so rocky. I want to show you this place. It's not that I've seen it before, but from there it, it looked kind of whoa in my eyes. So I decided, okay, let's come and see. Wow. Go down this way. Yeah. Oh, this one looks so beautiful. Nice, calm, clean. Okay, uh, Frederick John Dirty Lugard was born 22nd of January 1858 and he died on uh, 11th April 1945. And he was the first governor, or the governor of Nigeria, they wrote, governor general, former governor general of Nigeria. You know, he, I think he used to stay in, uh, in Zung Zungeru, then in Ninja State, uh, like, you can, like we saw from the video. And uh, that bridge was built. I, think, I don't know how that bridge came about, whether it was built that led to his house or whatever, or they built a bridge and it was named after him. Then 50 years later, which was uh, what you saw, you can see it in the part of the video here, I'm going to put it. He was now, it was now brought to Kaduna and it was installed here. And this place used to be a very good place. Um, the reason why I actually came back here after like four years of that first video I did was just to see the um, difference that what the place would look like because then I was told they were innovating and that there was flooding and they had to like let, let everybody go and today being here yes the only thing I see different is the fact that they install installed a water splash place which is not even functional because of the uh, Rona business you know so um, it's nice being here for those of you who have been in, were born in Kaduna or you don't know what the north is like this is one of the things that is here in Kaduna and I'm, I'm glad that I was born here and I it's something that I've always appreciated as a child and I'm here today again to show you guys what it is like so if this is the best place I would like to say please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it would be nice to have you a part of this family and also you can follow me on Instagram Big Wheels Photography or Big Wheels Picture this anyone will do or both of them will be appreciated you know Ah, like my son would say, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> See you in the next one. But before then, 
What's your excuse? What's keeping you down? Why are you not doing the things you need to do? Get up and do it. Time waits for no one. See you guys in the very next one. Ciao. Subscribe, like, share, comment. See you in the next one.